Uh, you might remember last month when we met the extraordinary parents of the youngest victim of the London Bridge terror attacks. Yes, the wonderful Julie and Mark Wallace. They'd been looking forward to reuniting with their 21-year-old daughter, Sarah, in Paris, but the Australian au pair was fatally stabbed. Um, 27 sleeps before a family holiday. Last month on this show, they described the excruciating moment they discovered that Sarah had died. Well, we had such an incredible reaction uh, to Julia Mark and their spirit and resilience. Yes. And we're delighted that they're joining us this morning. They're in the middle of a charity bike ride from London to the Eiffel Tower in Paris. It's 350 kilometres. Uh, it's going to take them seven days. And they're there for us this morning. Good morning. How are you getting on? You're day five, is that right? Good morning, Ben. Yes, we're on day five and we've heard it's going to be a top of 45 here in the beautiful France, so everyone's really excited. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, take on uh, lots of fluid. It's going to be challenging, isn't it? Do you know what, Julia Mark? You, it's so lovely to see you. It's so fantastic to see you. It was such an honour to have you in the studio when we, when we talked to you and you inspired everybody. You actually inspired one of our other studio guests that morning, didn't you? And um, he's taken part with with you on your bike ride. Yes, yeah, certainly. We had Monty join us and as promised, he did the first 10K through London <laughs> and then got off as quick as he could. <laughs> but he has said he's going to do the whole seven days next year. So he had an absolute blast and it's just electric. The, the emotion and the excitement and compassion of all of our riders. And we're just this it's just full of love and we're overwhelmed by all the people we meet along the way. If we stopped in at a bar and things like that at lunch, people have donated to us and asked us and they've seen us on TV and the man the first night um, saw us and bought us the four papers because we're on the front page of the Sun. Aww. So this this man in this shop said, "Oh, I know you. Here's some the newspapers. You're in you're in there, and just it's just beautiful." Well, that's Monty Panasar, of course, who joined you, and and obviously, as you say, you've just inspired so many, so many other people. What is the significance of the name of the bike ride? Meet you in Paris. Just remind us how poignant those words are. Yeah, so every time we would communicate with Sarah through either WhatsApp or text messages while she was overseas, we'd always finish the message with meet you in Paris. So it was our family holiday that we were planning to meet her at the Eiffel Tower. So this is how we've named our fundraising event. So definitely meet you in Paris is very significant and close to our heart. And Mark, tell us who you've got joining you on the ride as well, because I think there's about 40 of you, isn't there, on and off? Yeah, so there's 40 riders. Um, a lot of Aussies are, have made the journey, so very you know, friends that are doing this emotional journey for themselves. Um, they've been very close to Sarah or grown up with her, and uh, this is their their experience to be able to do this ride and feel Sarah in spirit. It must have been, you know, I mean, it's just unimaginable uh, what you've been through. Um, how important is it? What does it do for you to be able to to do this journey for Sarah? Well, for us, it's, um, it heals us doing this journey. We feel Sarah. I feel Sarah with me every day. She's in my heart and she's guiding us. And when the hills are too high and I feel like stopping, um, she says, come on, Mum, keep going, you can do it. And she's pushing us along. And you know, she wants unconditional love. She wants Sarah's sanctuary, to, Sarah's sanctuary to help people who have suffered shock, sudden death. And we, we need to raise funds and we need to raise the awareness. And people are hearing about us all around the world. So we're incredibly grateful and it's been an amazing journey. And you're due and to just arrive. Just a side note. So go on, Mark. Yeah, just a side note. When we're saying that people around the world have been, um, I guess, recognising us, we met the Queen at Buckingham Palace, oh which was goodness. a fantastic experience. And um, she was introduced to us, and, and the first thing she says, I've seen you on TV. And Ju <laughs> Julie's response was, well, I've seen you on TV too. And it was so funny. So it was hilarious. She goes, and then I said, so I got my bag open and opened my um, bag and gave her my business card, and she looked at both <laughs> both sides of it and she took it and she goes like she'd heard all about the charity and I thanked her for her beautiful son Prince Charles writing us, writing us a letter and we met him last year and we've been to um, Clarence house and you know she knew all about it and she's so sharp and gorgeous and she's so tiny <laughs> <laughs> how special what an extraordinary an moment it was amazing. She had yeah. all the time. There was only 20 people that actually got to speak to her out of the 5,000 or more people. And she talked to us for about five to seven minutes. And she, I didn't know how long you could talk, but she had all day and she was so interested. And it was just amazing and such a delight to see.
And she's got your business card, more importantly, Julie. If she needs a little bit of yes, help, she, she knows. she took my business card. I didn't know you're not allowed to give the Queen your business card. We're from Australia. We're pretty chilled, you know. We, we don't have too many rules and things like that. But she took it and um, poor Jim, Jim Galvin, he was sweating, looking at me. Oh, no, what am I going to do now? You know, he was freaking out. I didn't. Oh, but I got oh. to do my curtsy twice, so that was good. Julie, do you know what? You, you are also the giver of the most amazing hugs. Yes. When you were in the studio, you yeah, told us about the healing power of touch and the healing yes. power of, of hugs, yes. and, and you hugged us all, mm. and you talked about how it's yes. not, it can't just be a quick hug. It's got to, it's got to be a no. significant 20 moment. 20 seconds. I wonder if you did that with yes. the Queen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, no, I just got to shake her hand, but when, when we catch up, catch up next time with, um, for afternoon tea, I'll make sure I do. <laughs> If and I'm she, allowed. She will, I'll ask her permission first, yes, though. Yeah. She will benefit she enormously. She would benefit from one of your So, your look, audience. Mark, you are well, yes. set In to arrive as a group on Saturday, I think, 1 o'clock on the Champs-Élysées uh, into Paris. I, I, I imagine it's going to be a very emotional moment for you all. How are you feeling about the journey? How are you feeling about finally making it to the capital? Yeah, I guess it being day five now and it's a build up and it's just slowly, slowly building. So the emotion gets a lot stronger mm. and definitely that that um, emotion for us outpoured when we made it there last year. So <laughs> yeah. I can imagine seeing that happen again uh, on Saturday. We're going to Australia House. We're being um, met there by Australia House and we've got drinks at Australia House at 1pm uh, and we can overlook the Eiffel Tower with all our amazing friends and participants. So it's going to be a, a very special moment for everyone. We've got 50 of us, we've got 10 support people as well. So yes, we had to register everyone's name to go to Australia House and yeah, very, very, very special day. Well, look, stay very safe in the next couple of days. Yeah. As Susanna said, a lot of water because it's going to be roasting hot. Yeah. Not the, I mean, you're Aussie, so you're used to the heat, but we're not so Yeah, we have a lot of it. champagne too, so <laughs> yeah. we'll be fine. <laughs> you are Aussie, so you're used to the champagne too, undoubtedly. Uh, it's always such yeah, a treat yeah, yeah. to talk to you both. Thank you so much for coming and sharing. <laughs> and a virtual a hug. hug. Always a pleasure. A virtual hug too. Yeah, make sure <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. There oh, you go. Julia Mark, by royal appointment now. I love it. Wow. By I royal appointment. It. How fantastic. Yeah. No, it's, the, it's just the ultimate cruelty that Sarah isn't going to be meeting them in Paris. But mm. I just love the way that Julie talks about the fact that her daughter is always with her. Every day. That she's in a conversation with her, an ongoing When the hills get too tough. Come on, Mum, you've got this. Uh, it's amazing.